Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 27 of Let's Platinum Final Fantasy VII. Alright, so we're going to head over in that direction today, uh, but let's change a few things. Number one, I forgot to actually take off the silver glasses and everything. So, let's see, who's, like, what do we want on? Uh, we don't need to another fight. We basically want to use the Protect Vest and the Talisman. I just want to check who's got less. So, he's got uh, 37, 31, 35, 34. So, let's give him him the talisman and the other one the protect vest so talisman protect vest cool all right and now we're going to change the material up very slightly so choke mug elemental lightning fire restore all is good steal and throw is good all right let's keep it like that for now um earth all fire all is good poison i want this one to be where's ice i want this one to be uh ice and I want to get rid of these two. I want to put heal and seal on, mainly because um, I want him to have as much magic as possible. And then finally, I want to give you the all material here and give you cover over here. So steal all enemy skill cover. Yep. And then Chocobo Law, HP plus, restore. All right, everything is good. Now, steel all doesn't work. I, I wish it did. Man, that would be amazing if it did. It doesn't. Um, but yeah, I am so annoyed that I didn't use Shiva in that last battle. But oh well. Um, okay, so I think we're good to go. Let's uh, head off. Just going to one last check. So everyone's in the front row. Yeah, that makes sense. Grenade bomb, blood fang. All right, let's go. So we need to head um, west and... Uh, you can see over there that in the distance is the gold saucer we can't unfortunately cross um, that river there so we're gonna have to go the normal way this is a grangolin um, it basically is like a giant babushka doll um, it uses this move called silver wheel i think it has another move and it has 550 hp altogether if you can kill it quick enough it won't summon a grangolin junior this one has 330 hp which is geez that was very close to perfect damage there, I think. There we go. And then the Grangolin Jr. can also release a Grangolin, Grangolin Jr. Jr., which, um, you know, has 110 HP and it's basically exactly the same thing. And you need to um, kill each one as you, as you go. So, yeah, you need to navigate your way around here. They're pretty much the only enemy that we're gonna run, run into in this area. You can run into what are known as beach plugs. Um, but they, you can only run into them on the ice, on the ocean, or the, sorry, like by the sea. Is that enough? Yes. Is that enough? 190, so 205, and then I can't remember what the first hit was. Hmm, that didn't seem like it was enough, but okay, whatever. I'll, uh, I'll abide. <laughs> oh, this is, I love this music, man. Here, there's a chance that you might be able to run into a different enemy. Let's try, actually. Let's just stay here for one second and try and run into a different enemy. Oh, you can. Okay, these are Needle Kisses. Uh, needle Kisses are weak to wind, so let's Chocomog. They should do plenty of damage. They have 180 HP and they die. <laughs> so yeah, weak to wind. It's funny, like the summons, I never really used them when I first played, but when you realize it's like, oh, they're not actually that expensive in terms of MP, um, you can use them quite a lot. So yeah, you could walk over there, but you can't go past because of the beach, so you need to go this way. All right, now we've reached a little screen here. Let's talk to this old man. Whew! Hey, you're actually talking to me. What is it? I just passed a guy in a black cape back there. Just tried to tell him that it's dangerous up ahead, and he ignored me. It's dangerous to go alone. Um, Sephiroth. Hmm. I'm moving on ahead. <sighs> Not much dialogue. Yeah, look, I I want to put like Aerith and Tifa into the party and all that, but I think I'm just going to stick with um, Barrett just because I don't want to risk um, anything screwing up the best bromance trophy, because if it screws up, then... Oh, man. It's basically like game over. <laughs> it's so frustrating. All right, we've got a few different enemy types here. So let's go through them. So we've got the Needle Kiss that we just fought before. We've got the, I think it's called, uh, let me have a look, Bag Narada. It's weak to ice 
and uh, the Search Crown is not weak to anything, but he's strong against fire. So the um, let's stick with another summon. That'll take out probably the Needle Kiss and the Search Crown, but not the Bagnarada. So let's have a look. We got the grenade bomb there. Because Bagnarada has has 450 HP. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna try and steal from this Bagnarada. It hasn't all it's got is a weapon for um, Red 13 called the Diamond Pin. It's not very good. But I'm just like, yeah, why not steal it? And then I'll show you how much damage like Ice 2 can do. Oh, this could be a problem. Alright, let me uh wait, wait, wait. Oh, Poison Breath. I did not know he could cast Poison. Wait, wait, wait. The first time to use Poisona. It's never been used in the game before. Oh my god, it actually worked. <laughs> Alright, come on. Steal. Steal his stupid diamond pin that we don't need. I would like to steal it. Oops. Going too fast. There we go, diamond pin. And now let's use Barrett's magic. Ice 2. Let's see how much damage this does. 716. <laughs> and it had 450 health. Alright, cool. And we get a bolt plume. Bolt plume is an item that allows you to cast, I believe, bolt 2. And I shouldn't have. Uh, yeah, uses bolt 2 on all opponents. Not too bad, not too bad, actually. So yeah, there are uh, items like that in this game which allow you to use the um, like upgraded versions of attacks. Oh, it's a Shinra reactor, a Marco reactor. Very interesting. I have one here too. Okay, okay, we got a double Bagnarada. Now I could have actually did this a little bit interestingly. By interestingly, I mean not not smartly. But uh, during practice, I was like, I'm gonna steal a diamond pin do pin off these guys. And I did, and so I killed one with Ice 2, and then killed the other with Ice 2 again. I'm actually not going to use his... Um, I think we'll break here. Because I was stealing the diamond pin from one of them. So that's why I didn't use an all spell. I could have put, like, uh, ice, ice all, but I didn't. Uh, you can't actually do anything in this reactor. I, you could probably walk over there to the northwest, but you can't do anything. Instead, you have to come down here. Okay, now this is kind of interesting. Uh, there's nothing down here. Oh, damn it. There's nothing down here, but I do want to run into a particular enemy here just to show something off. So yeah, you can't. There's no exit screen here. Just please let me. Yes. Okay, we're into a bomb, and it's facing the other way, which means we've got a preemptive attack. All right. Now with the bomb, I want to steal um, an item known as the right arm. Perfect. And then I also want to use Ice 2 on it. Now this is very interesting. I'm going to test this to see. It has 600 health. All right. This will do 375. Now you'll notice it got bigger, right? Now when it gets bigger like that, it means that it's going to explode. Um, but you have another chance. Like you can you can hit it with another spell, and obviously now it's enough, and I was able to win. Barrett is losing a lot of MP, but that's okay. Um, that right arm uh, item, in fact, let's see what that actually says, because I've never actually seen what it says. Explosive damage against all opponents. All right, that right arm, we're going to steal about uh, three of them. Um, they're, they're quite powerful. <laughs> um, I know one instance where I'm going to use one. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use it on anything else. I could, but yeah, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to steal. All right, here we go. Cockatolus, which is cockatrices. Uh, they're cockatrices, uh, are like the one of the recurring enemies. Actually, cockatrices haven't been in Final Fantasy for a while. I don't think they were in 15, nor were they in f uh, 13. Very interesting. I can't remember 12, it's been too long. But anyway, um, cockatrices are, or cockatolus are pretty strong. They're not weak to anything. Um... I'm going to use Matra Magic to deal some damage. Here's Petrify Smog, and then I'm going to follow up with a Grenade Bomb. Alright, Petrify Smog- oh, well, I can't follow up because it takes precedence, but let's see. So I have 420 HP, please kill! Ah, no one here. <laughs> Alright, but this might kill. And I don't have an all spell to use. Yes, okay, cool, they killed. Brilliant. Alright, well, Red 13 got those kills, not, not Barrett, but that's okay. Yeah, you want to be careful of them. If the Petrify Smog hits you, it's really annoying. 
Uh, I am going to save my game. I'm just wondering if I should save. I think I might save in a different slot now just to be a little bit prudent. Uh, so let's go save. And yeah, we'll just save on another one here. I'll try and keep my options open. There is one particular point later on where I know saving would be very, very ideal. So, or creating a separate save would be ideal. ideal. All right, it says, oh, 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 press X to jump. Do not press X to jump. Instead, wait to fall. Hold the left button and rapidly press X. So you'll see Cloud is like slowly falling to the left of the screen. And you can see how far he got. He hangs on down here. It's a weird train track thing. And then you can, um, yeah, you can move and he will climb up and collect the wizard staff, which is a double materia growth weapon for Aerith. Now, if you go up here, you can collect the W machine gun and the W machine gun is finally another weapon for Barrett and it's another double material growth weapon. So I definitely want to put that on and we're going to sacrifice, um, hang on a sec. Oh yeah, we're going to sacrifice the ice material, which I believe we've already done. And we're gonna, instead we're going to give that ice material to cloud and get rid of throw because throw, the only reason I had it on was it just provides with uh, one vitality. I, sh I should have mentioned that before. It just provides one vitality, which I thought was like the best thing that we could get um, at the time. So now that we have this, okay, back attack, press L1 and R1 to turn so that you're not getting destroyed. And then we're just gonna, that's weird. I've got back attack and yet I'm able to have the first two attacks. Very strange. Must be slow. Look at all this die. Yeah, not really too much you can do about him, like to beat him in one shot. I mean, you could probably use like a summon or something like that, but it's a little bit too time consuming. So I just decide to attack. Okay, now as we go down here, we're gonna fall again. I'm gonna let myself fall. And this time I'm gonna hold right and press the X button so that um, I can move to the right side of the screen. So remember, hold the button and just rapidly tap X. And don't worry about like how slow he's moving because um, I'm tapping really quickly there and he seemed to be moving really slow. This is the weirdest, like, who came up with this? It's like, let's have them walk on these train tracks and then it, it'll it break and then you can, like, move and... <laughs> it's weird. Really weird minigame. Uh, you get a third... That's right, a third star pendant. Uh, so we have two and... No. Wait, does someone have it equipped? Someone must have it equipped. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe one of the girls has it equipped or something like that. That's weird, yeah. Because there's one... I'm trying to remember. There's one from that room. The puzzle room. Wait, what am I doing? Summon. Summon, summon. Now, here I'll summon because the needle kisses are all weak to, to wind. And therefore, it'll kill them for sure. And then, oh yeah, you can't attack the one in the back row, that's another thing. It'll kill them for sure, and then Cockatollis will be the one remaining. So, it's very valuable. Who has the other, like, star pendant? So there's one there, one in that... That did a lot of damage to the Cockatollis, actually. There we go, nice, one shot. Uh, or one extra hit, I should say. 34 AP, nice, we're going well. Let me just have a quick check of um, the Chocobo lore. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna get there. As soon as Chocobo Lure reaches level two, which will still be a while, I'm gonna swap it out. All right, you can get a Turbo Aether here. Now here you can press X because there's no other treasure. So just press... Okay, don't move the... Uh... I'm just gonna go to the left. <laughs> don't move the um, thumbstick while you're doing it because apparently that doesn't work. Let's just speed things up a bit. And then for some reason you have to press X now. <laughs> And we get the Transform Materia. The Transform Materia allows you to cast Mini and Toad. Um, it has the same sort of benefits and detriments that the other Magic Materia or the regular Magic, magic Materia does, like Restore and all that, not Revive. Revive is insane. <laughs> um, but allows you to cast, excuse me, it allows you to cast Mini first, and then when you level it up, you can cast Toad. However, it takes 8,000 AP to get to Toad, so not really that worth it. All right, now we're gonna go north. Now here's another one. So let's do exactly the same thing. Chocomog, I'll just speed things up a little bit. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> All right, so 
34. So we're getting like a lot of the enemies are going to start having a lot of AP. All right, let's go here. Aerith and you know, Tifa are down there and Yuffie. Oh, Cloud, good luck. Thanks, girls. What do we got now? Okay, search crowns. So search crowns, um, again, they're not weak to anything, but they're strong against fire. They only have 150 HP though, so let's try... I actually can't remember. I'm going to try Matra Magic. Now, you don't want to muck around with these guys. They uh, do a lot of damage. Let's use Cure, just in case this Matra Magic doesn't cure. They do a lot of damage with that four laser attack. So let's see, 150 is what I need. Beautiful, plenty of damage. That's actually another thing I should check. And they give 40 AP. So remember that we're getting 80 AP every time. Like, it's insane. How much magic? You're 50. All right. Needs to be a little bit higher, but we'll get there. So just walk towards the right of the screen, and then Cloud will turn up here. And then you go into this little um, shack, and it says, Ow, sure it's Titan here. Come on, Cloud, don't let it get to you. Let's see, this is it. Oh, right, Tifa and Earth are still talking. <laughs> Maybe if I turn this, something should happen. Do it. Okay, we pan away because it is too difficult to um, cause pre-rendered backgrounds to change. <laughs> All right, now go here and eventually you'll hear a tweet. And then you just press X there and you can climb up into this secret passage. Now, I have no idea how you would figure this out, but um, apparently it's, it's a thing. <laughs> hey, little baby chicks. This is actually like, I... I one of the things about this scene is like it's, it's something so simple um in, well it's a difficult secret to find it's so simple but it looks so cute like I, I feel like this is really good graphics for the playstation one so it's a shame that it's hidden behind this thing that not like what less than one percent of the player base is going to find <laughs> what should we do let's take the treasure times are tough and taking the treasure hey baby Hey, hey, baby. Glue glug. Alright, take the treasure and you have to fight Mama Cockatolis and crap, I forgot to heal. Uh, what should we hit her with? Let's hit her with like lightning or something. I barely use lightning. Bolt 2. See how much that does. Oh! Oh, okay. Well, there you go. You can use Bolt 2 to win. As long as you have 50 in your magic stat, and I think I have. Probably 51 now because I leveled. Received 10 Phoenix Downs. So yeah, a pretty nice, um, pretty nice reward, especially if you're playing the game for the first time. <laughs> that animation, you miss out on that animation too. He pretty much never does that in the rest of the game, I think. I could be wrong about that. That's a very big guess. 51 magic, beautiful. Um, okay, uh, now we could walk over here, but it's just a dead end, so we need to go back. How much time we got? Okay, I'm still making good time. I like how having the, the cursor on to tell you where you are. Shows it's like, okay, he's disappeared off the field and now he's over there. Uh, let's go with another summon. How's Cloud going on MP? Everyone's good on MP. Okay, so now, yeah. That's weird, he's in the back row, but you can attack in the back row now. It's really strange. I don't know how that works. It's crazy, he's weak to ice and that did that much damage. Okay, good. Making some good gil. Let's go back. Ah, made it. Wee! <laughs> it's really nice. And another one. Okay, so yeah, we're getting uh, pretty close now to. Oh, here's Petrify Smog. So you can see it there, it's just just barely. Uh, it's ticking down on Barrett, and he will become petrified after it's um, taken effect. But I believe I will be able to win before that happens, hopefully. Okay, oh, it actually paused. That's nice. Yeah, sometimes, I don't know how it calculates it, but it looks like it pauses during the animation of the summon. There's a lot of, like, experience, um, AP, everything to get here. Wow, that was very quick. Search crowns? Needle pisses. And there's also a lot of um, setups here, like, a lot of different uh, enemy setups, so... Yeah. I try to... Th this is one thing I try to do. I try to come up with ways to defeat um, each enemy set up in like sort of the most efficient way possible which generally my rule of thumb is like all right if I can kill them you know in one go do that if it's going to take a little bit longer then I'll uh figure out some other way to do it okay go over here then you end up here now you want to hang to the left first go around here 
We're almost there. And then just walk sort of back here and eventually you'll walk into this cave where you can find a few nice things. A tent, a mine source, and a power source. And there's also a gentleman here. Let's talk to him in just a moment. Range, type, scroll down. Power source on cloud, mine source on cloud. Not spirit, I thought it was the, uh, the magic stat. That's fine. All right, let's talk to this gentleman. Hey, how'd you ever wind up here? Look, I'm sorry, but I can't do a thing for you. All right. Oh boy, Corel sure has gone to pot. There's that phrase again. It used to be a famous coal mining town. They say there were more jobs than you could shake it. Well, you get the picture. Nah, now it's nothing but a miserable pit. Me, my bulldozer, everyone's out of work. Got no job, can't even show my face. About all that's left for me is just living in this hole all day. Hole all day. Damn, man. Ah, I'm sorry, dude. Sorry. That sucks. I'm not sure if anything happens with him. I'm gonna, there was like something that I read that maybe there was something that happens with him, so I might try and look that up. Let's see if there's anything that happens later on. Oh no, poison breath. Oh, crap. I don't think poison pers I don't think anything persists through battle apart from uh, fury and sadness. Da, 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 da. All right, beautiful. All right, we're gonna have to stop here. Making good progress though. I don't really want to battle again, but I do want to go up here. Please, no more battles, no more battles. And make it, make it. Yes, thank goodness. All right, and we get this really cool um, pre-render background here with a gigantic suspension bridge, but I'm going to stop right here and we'll continue next time. So I want to thank you all for watching episode 27 of Let's Pardon Final Fantasy VII. My name's Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.